Hey everyone, my name is Bradley. Welcome to my channel, The Portly Gentleman. On my channel, I do lots of brewing videos, brew tools, a um, little bit of how-to, a little bit of DIY, and sometimes product reviews if I find something that I think is especially shiny or cool or useful. Today's video, we're gonna talk all about this guy, the Anton Parr Easy Dense. The Anton Parr Easy Dense is a digital density meter that connects to uh, your smartphone, tablet, maybe even computer over a wireless connection, download an app, and it will tell you in real time the density of whatever it is you want to measure. It'll do alcohol, beer, like, you know, alcohol, alcohol, uh, and wine. Maybe some, probably some other beverages too, who knows. So basically, you can use this hot side, cold side, wherever you want in the process. You can put hot wort through it, cold wort, you can put finished beer, halfway finished beer, all the beer through it. Right now I'm gonna show you how to use it. So the first sample, we are going to take some wort. It's wort, I'm pretty sure, but it, it's another video you'll see and it's just, it was an experience. So we take that wort and then you're gonna, you know, suck that wort up into your syringe uh, and then you'll basically push it through the Anton Parr and you'll see very quickly here, like very quickly, Seriously, you'll see that we get an instant gravity reading. You get also real-time temperature, and it basically gives you the gravity. There's another app where you can kind of log each brew. This one I'm not gonna log because the other video you'll see, it's over the top. Anyways, it's that simple. And then when you're done with this guy, you basically take some warm distilled water, uh, your same you know, sanitized syringe or whatever without a needle, push it through it a few times, and it's good to go. Next off, we're gonna take a sample right off one of my unit tanks. It's about ready to cold crash, it should be done. I'm not using a sampling coil because I need to degas the sample. And I feel like this helps degas it sooner. Who knows? So there's a couple ways to degas they list. Um, you could put it in a uh, sonic cleaner for 10 hours or something. I don't have that kind of time. You can simply do like this and Basically, you're going to, uh, you know, draw up like half of a syringe, say five, four mils, cover one end and pull the, the, uh, the plunger out. And you're going to see all that CO2 bubbles just escape from the gas. You can do this, in my experience, um, five, six, seven, eight times. It's kind of uh, uh, cumbersome and pain in the ass, in my opinion. I prefer just to pour the sample through coffee filter, paper towel, whatever filter it, I find that that degasses it. It's also one of the methods that uh, Anton Parr in their video has kind of suggested to do. Sometimes one last time after I've sucked it out of my uh, cup to go through, I'll degas it the other way we just spoke about and just get any bubbles I can out. It might throw off the reading by, you know, uh, like a tenth. This thing makes like a spaceship sound. Um, it's got a little blue light in there. But when you're pulling a sample, um, it just sounds like science. I, I don't know how else to explain it. I got a big kick out of it. So listen to that. That's the sound of science. It has to be. All right, guys. So thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. Um, I really enjoy this device. I do recommend it if you can afford it. Obviously, you can use uh, any other means that we all have already been using. But this one, the sample size is so minimal. It seems to be so accurate in all my testing and anyone else I've talked to. It's really, um, if you're looking for something to spend money on, this is definitely a good one if you're at that stage or have the budget. And thank you guys so much for watching to the end. Please like and subscribe. This has been Bradley. Remember, homebrewing is good. I'll see you in the next one.